Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 30 of Front Boards and Four Baggers. I'm Eddie with Cornhole Bag Reviews, and we've got Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews. Uh, today we got one that I feel like a lot of people have a lot of questions or want clarification about, you know, what is carpet? And then what are all the different carpets? Because there's like 90 million different carpet bags at this point, and it seems like a lot of them are getting really popular, and people are wondering why, you know, Viper R's are worth so much. Why are Sorks selling out so f- Sorcerers selling out so fast? Why aren't people throwing Vikings as much if they aren't like, you know, pro players? Why does no one talk about mercenaries? Or that, you know, it's like there's so many different carpet bags, some seemingly more popular than others. So we're going to kind of talk about the history of carpet a little bit and try to give some designation about why certain carpets are becoming kind of more popular and uh, why, you know, me and Corbin kind of both have switched to throwing carpet mainly most of the time, even if it's not the word. And I think we need to designate, you know, people just throw out the word carpet if it's just a bag that doesn't have print on the slow side. But traditional carpet and carpet and vast carpet, very, very different bags. Same way that, you know, if if, if you say I throw Surefires and you throw Series Vipers, it's not the same bag, right? So so carpet is kind of just this generalized term that I think uh, that we use. But, you know, before we get into it, you know, how, how's it going, buddy? How you been throwing lately? You know, man, um, roller coaster, I think is the best way to, uh, describe it. Um, sorry, I'm getting notifications on my computer. Um, yeah, absolute roller coaster. Um, I had a couple tournaments where I was throwing like high eights into nine and then I just threw high sevens and oh yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh, I mean, we still took second place though. So, you know, PPR isn't everything. And I always push that. It's more about that DPR. Oh, yeah. Um, but I've been throwing okay. I joined a league. Um, I know we've talked about it, but it's called an ambassador league. So, you know, a higher level player gets paired with a pretty much beginner. Um, the guy that I got paired with. I love that they consider you a higher level times. player. <laughs> no, I know. It's awesome. And my voice is halfway gone. So I do apologize for all of that. Um, but yeah, so it's, I mean, like Joe K is in it, Maya and Don are in it, you know, so there's some pros and then we have some higher level, you know, competitive or advanced players as well. Um, and it's really just fun. It's about coaching and helping your, helping your partner get better and working on little things with their throw. And then we do singles tournaments every three weeks as well. So we get to play against our peers. Um, but that much has helped me out because I'm throwing at least once a week, right? you know, and it might not be the most competitive setting, but it gives me a chance to work on intentional blocks or air mails or get arounds or whatever. Um, right. So that's actually helped out quite a bit. And um, I got my wife to start throwing a little bit now. Dude, me and my wife start, well, started a couple's league on Tuesday nights. And so she, nice. threw, she threw her first competitive games last week. And then after we're done with our, she's like, I told her before we get there, I'm like, you know, we got eight games tonight, four matches, two games per match. And she's like, eight games? And then we were done with mm-hmm. eight games. And she's like, I'm going to go throw. I need to practice a couple things. And I was like, ah, I got her. I yeah. got her. <laughs> yeah. Got her. Yeah. No, so, we're, we're actually like hiring a babysitter so we can go out and play bags and, you know, enjoy cool. ourselves. Um, cool. so she's getting really into it. Um, she loves Viper R's now. <laughs> Weird. It's almost like everybody likes them. It's almost like everyone likes them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so of course I had to grab the money greens just cause it's her favorite color. So right. got those on the way, but, uh, I've been throwing okay. You know, my consistency is struggling a little bit, but I'm working on getting it better. So how you been throwing? I would say, uh, you know, going off of what you said about the PPR DPR thing, I think that actually ties in really well to why we've been throwing carpet and the podcast Correct. today, because like Correct. I just played in a tournament this weekend. Uh, we took second, we got double dipped. We easily could have taken first. Every single game was like 21, 20. I only averaged an eight, seven PPR in the day, which is solid. But I mean, there was probably 10 That's people. Solid, yeah. There was 10 people above me, but I had a 0.77 DPR, right? Where oh, yeah only throwing a seven, seven. So like you look at those numbers where it's like, people are like, Oh, you only, you took 12th in PPR. How'd you make the finals? And it's like, well, you didn't see the game where I hit 10 air mails in a row and was scoring two, three points around. Right. Where it's like, or washing on sixes because I'm laying a first bag block and you miss an air mail here and there or something. So it's like, it's a very different game plan versus my partner was just going hole for hole. They were both shooting 10 fives. Right. But the DPRs yeah. were very similar. So it's like it's one of those things that it's it's it, there's there's more to the story than just the stats. And I think people focus on the stats too much. At the end of the day, if you're making a d- deep run in events, I don't give a crap if you're shooting a four. Your PPR, you're matter. winning. You're winning. You know, that, that's all yeah. that really matters. And you're you, you're matching up well against who you're playing against and all those kind of things. But I, I uh, up and down is a good way to put it, too. I, I was going through there was like a two month stretch, like a couple months ago 
We're two months straight, like August, September, October. I was just winning like everything I played. Everything was throwing good. I was averaging over nine like all the time. Like I was finally yeah. feeling confident. And then like, you know, all of a sudden one little thing happens. Now my bag's a little right to left on every bag and I can't get it back. And like now, so now, you know, every bag I'm thinking about it and stuff. So it's just hard to get in that right. muscle memory rhythm. It's like, I feel like a lot of effort in every throw. So so, uh, you know, if it, I'm sure anyone, everyone can relate. There'll be one month that you're just unconscious crushing people. And then the next month you're back to like a competitive player. And you're like, what the hell yeah. happened? Like I didn't yeah. do anything different, but you know, I mean, but like you said, I mean, we don't have the luxury of playing six days a week. So it's not like I can go outside sure. and fix what I've been working on that kind of thing. You know, it's like I get my one day a week to try to fix it at a blind draw, but, but, uh, overall, I mean, game's still fun. I think that's what the most important. Oh part. yeah. Even after over a year, it's still I'm still enjoying myself going out. You know, I mean, I know you've been uploading a lot of people. Like my uploads have slowed down with the business and everything else. It's just I'm trying to enjoy it. You know, enjoy the I game. Feel you. I don't want it to feel like a job. So totally feel you. Try to do something fun. But let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> carpet. So let's start let's with what what is carpet, right? And, and and you know, it's not your floor carpet. It's not the carpet you're putting in your bathroom if you're a crazy person. It's uh it's a poly propylene fabric. It's 100% polypropylene for 90% of the carpets that y- you'll see out there. Right. Um, the reason that they call it carpet is it, it kind of came from the fact that you can't print on it. The reason you can't print on it is because that polypropylene will actually melt under high heat. So if you don't know anything about printing, you got to sublimate the ink into the fabric underneath a heat press on like 400 degrees of heat that will actually melt this fabric. So that's why you're not seeing, you know, Vikings with prints on either side. People ask me that all the time. It's like, you know, you just can't print on it. Uh, the original carpet was kind of like your Reynolds Pro Advantages, Pro X's. Yep. Uh, they were kind of the first company to, you know, after the suede era, you know, the slide rights were kind of in the OG yep. razors, like that kind of stuff for the beginning of ACL. Reynolds kind of came in. They had like the first like quote unquote carpet bag just another alternative to like suede slow material maybe a little bit more friendly than suede uh just a little bit easier to throw uh you know not easy to throw by today's standards obviously because we got you know vipers and all these other bags but back sure. then you know if you had I, i've talked to a lot of pros that five years ago if you had a pair of slide rights you were like a god like it was like because everyone's used to throwing duck cloth and suede you know stick and slicks so the that was kind of the introduction now obviously everyone knows the mainstays you got your bg vikings you got and then everyone else who's kind of gone off of that copy that almost every company now has got some kind of carpet bag and if they don't they're either trying to get one quick or they're kind of running behind the times at this point uh i mean even all cornhole who basically they only throw game they have two fine kinds of yeah. carpet at this point so it's just yeah. it's kind of the market you got to be in this is becoming really popular but i think you need to make sure that you do your research before you make the bag in terms of making it for what you want it to do because not everyone wants a viking so if you just make another Viking, that, that that's not a good chance that everyone's going to want it, that kind of thing. Right. Um, but let's start with the slow carpet. So original slow yeah. carpet, you know, PAs, Vikings, uh, Pro Xs, and even the synthetic carpets. So you're looking at like, you know, uh, this is like Neptune carpet, you know. So there's two. Yep. There's two I got or a set three, of combats right here, too. Yeah, combats, too. So there's two or three yep. kind of slow materials. You got the Pro Advantage uh, slow side, you got the Viking slow side and you got the combat slow side. These are destroyers, but same. Yeah. That's slow side. Yeah. Same. Carpet. Um, it's, you know, they all are slightly different. Uh, I'd say the combat destroyer, you know, Neptune carpet takes the longest to break in Vikings, it probably does. the softest PA kind of has this unique backing feel to it kind of thing. Um, they all kind of play in that like three, four range, I think is a fair assumption. Um, and they're, they're definitely were built for that block push roll game is kind of like why these bags exist oh yeah um you had something you want to say um i was gonna say that the to me at least pro advantage carpet feels a little thinner even than right. like a viking carpet or whatever just in hand maybe it's a little just smoother. i should have grabbed my maybe project 13s too project 13s are pa carpet yeah same um, same carpet yep but and I think now um, my nemesis are downstairs. That's nemesis, the same carpet. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think uh, now Reynolds has come out with a wizard carpet, which we'll get into that one too. But they've come out with that. Yeah, now. was that on the Renegade? I don't know. Cy- not the Cyclone. Oh, no, Fractures the Cat Three. Um, it's like okay. Cyclone. Maybe I'm. I'm not sure. They they've come out with so many new bags. I lost. Yeah, track I forget Reynolds, the so. names. Um, yeah. 
But this bag, so this type of carpet was highlighted by the roll shot. This is what you're going to be seeing, you know, Tony yep. Smith, Matthew Creek Killer, Alex Hicks, like Ryan Windsor, those people of the world that really Alec have Ryan. Alec Ryan, that, you know, kill shot cannons is another one of these bags. that's yep. just like that. If you got a player, your bags very flat throw very pretty hard in general compared to almost anybody else gotta have a really flat push shot on both sides and you want to do that dirty flop roll cut game all the time the big negative about this is if you're not a pro or if you're not really a high advanced player i'd say almost anyone below high advanced will struggle to throw old school carpet it's just 100 it's difficult to have like if you're not if your bag is flat enough to throw old school carpet consistently you're probably a high advanced player because you could throw any bag in the middle but i mean if your bag's a little off like even mine my bag is not perfectly flat a little front loaded on it it'll hit grab gone like instantly yep, shoot um, off to the left yeah and you know and the fill does and we'll get into fills like later in the podcast which but you know that bouncy fill that's what it's meant to do if you're you know you watch a lot of these carpet players their bag comes in back loaded just normally and it's bouncing up the board rather than sliding as much and that's kind of the game plan that these these strive through i would say almost every company you know has derived their carpet bag from this bag because the viking was so popular with all these young kids and role players but i would say probably the mass majority of the quote-unquote carpet players are with the bgs of the world really uh, like okay. if if you're a carpet only thrower you're not going to sign with you know probably an all cornel and ultra it's nice that they have a carpet in their lineup for you to use and which is why i think we'll get into why they picked the carpet that they did uh but you're not a carpet only player signing with these companies that's kind of bg and you know reynolds kind of category of player right. and kill shots a little bit too the cannons are definitely throwable and same with wtf they're a they're a carpet company as well absolutely yeah uh, um but so off of the slow carpet, so that's like the original, you know, four seven speeds, maybe a couple four eights here and there. We're looking at like mid speed, still bounce rolly carpet. So that's the BGs coming out with the Wizards. That's uh, you know the yep. Warlocks. You got the X rays from WTF. You got the new Dirty Bags, Double dra- or Dirty Drag or Dragon Bags, Dirty Dragon that they just came out with is like a Wizard. Same with like we said about the Reynolds, whatever it is, the Cyclone or whatever their new Wizard mock is. That's yep. a whole friendly. Five six speed carpet, but still punishing if you're not flat. Still a roll, still a good cut roll bag. You'll see a lot of the BG players throwing wizards, where it's basically like, hey, my Vikings yeah. are too sticky, but I want it to play like a Viking. That's what a wizard's gonna I, do. I just I think wizard is the best. It's the best example of what you're talking about. I mean, it's it's still the bouncy, kicky, whatever. I mean, Alex Hicks, Fisher Hamilton, right? They're the ones using wizards constantly. You know, and I think maybe both have switched to sorcerers by now but um no i think there's i mean well Al- fisher's been throwing I know, mercs i know fisher's throwing mercs oh he's throwing mercs yeah at the open oh okay yeah okay um but they i mean that's that's the bag it's still friendly on the slow side but you're still going to get a ton of action hunter, hunter of thrower throws a lot of wizards uh you yeah. know uh, it, it, Isabel, spreading when she's not throwing Vikings, she'll throw Wizards. Um, a lot of these players, and yes, a lot of people have transitioned to Sorcerers, which we'll talk about, but uh, the people that want the roll bag are sticking with Vikings and, and Wizards of the World. Like it's Correct. A, like, Curry Killer, you're not going to take Vikings out of his hands. He doesn't care. I don't never. care what bag you make. That's just what he's going to throw. Just never. Right? And yep. but, they, but they throw it really hard. But again, like this bag, you still got to throw it a little hard. The Wizard carpet does slow down a little bit. Uh, you know, and, and I would say it's a little bit thicker on the slow side because they now have to fabric back it. Because yeah. I don't know if you guys know, like launch wizards or like anyone who used this material without fabric backing, like old school Fallout X's even, that material will fall apart if it doesn't have a backing on it. It's just too like soft. You can almost pull it apart with your fingers. So yeah. just know when you get a set of that herringbone carpet, it's got to have some kind of fabric backing on it. So that's why it's a little bit denser. It's not going to get crazy floppy. It's going to have just a little bit of a liner to it. Similar to those Hustler yeah. X's uh, that you, but they're. <laughs> yeah, but they're they're backing. They've Some got of those. they've gotten a new backing now. But but yeah, that yes, that herringbone this carpet backing there. is much better. And it, right. I mean, it still gets pretty right. darn floppy. But that that comes into um, the fill too because that's alien resin. That's not you correct. Know, coffee but fill. This took forever to get them this way. Sure. So and they're still not there. By sure. the way, <laughs> sure. Corners are still a little little tough. So. But that's that's further down the road. Right. But uh, let's talk about so so why would someone throw a wizard? Well, mostly it's just about the whole friendliness. Vikings are clogging. Wizards yeah. got a faster slow side, faster fast side. All uh, where yep. it's just like all right, it it still plays like my kick my rolly block push bag, 
but it's not going to hang up as much or I don't have to throw it. It's not just going to completely stop. Yeah. I don't have to throw it like as hard as I possibly can uh, to be able to do that. So still very, very popular bag in their lineup. But again, you know, the BGs of the world have captured the people that want to do the roll bag all the time. I, but I don't think the 99 percentile of us listening to this podcast are roll all the time players, or you shouldn't be uh, because I don't think any of us are good enough to do it at the level that Fisher and all of them can do it. Otherwise you'd be there (laughs) playing against them. But That's, that's a fair point. The next one is slow carpet, Viking materials, Merc materials, uh, combat materials, you know, destroyers are a good example of this, but yep. disc fill or friendly fill in them. So it's like a friendly slower carpet. Kryptonite. Yeah, that's a that's that's a Viking, right? With disc fill or that's the raid. No, it's a it's a pink dolphin. Oh, OK, um, yep, it's a dolphin. I just my dolphins are downstairs. So. Right. So which this is, is what I the, the normal dolphin, right? Yeah. Um, yes, it's just the dolphin. So the, I would say that was the response by a ton of companies to the Viking or the PA. But let's say they've always made fast bags. They're like, well, this is the fill we use. I guarantee they're like, ah, oh, we'll just fill our carpet bag with it. We're going right. to throw on some carpet. Right. We're like, we're not going to do the research, try and 10 different fills and see what they're using or make a blend that puffs it up or anything. We're just going to chuck our surefire yep. fill into a carpet bag. And I guarantee you that I haven't tried out the Shamrock 2.0s, but I guarantee you that's surefire fill inside of a lucky or inside of a Viking, isn't it? It is not, it's by not, the way. Huh? They changed the fill. Ooh, it's a bead fill. Ooh, interesting. That might change my opinion. Um, but a lot of companies, I would say, uh, you know, they had a fill, they put it in a carpet bag. I would say that's very, you know, sure I mean, shot. This is the black sheep. striker fill. Yeah, Black Sheep OGs. Yeah, Black OG Sheep does it, yep. OG2 is the exact same thing as the Destroyer, Got, but it's got... You know, same thing. Same. This is all disc. Uh, destroyer, all disc. destroyer is reverse. No, yeah, but isn't OG two? OG two is regular. Oh, it is. Yep. Ah, uh, I don't have OG twos, so it makes sense. But yeah, okay. re- regular. Um, but so that that response, I would say, so the thing you're gonna get with these are, uh, and uh, another thing, like that's this is what I throw mostly is avalanches, which are yeah Viking carpet with viper fast side, right? And yep. the reason I throw these and granted, I do a mixed fill. So mine's mine's a little fuller, but it's whole fr- it's friendly. Like I, my bag has a little bit of tilt on it. They'll still move. I can get them to cut like people can roll them, but it's not like a Viking. It's not going to just grab and yank on me. It's not going to. Yeah, bounce. it doesn't just launch. It does, it's not going to bounce when I throw a normal bag. Same thing with yep. the, all these friendly covers. Dolphins are a good example. You can throw those things hard. They're not going to go bouncing all over the place. A lot of time they'll hit and slide, just slow slide. So it's kind of yep. like. Hey, do you want to be able to throw it hard or maybe the boards are super, super fast uh, and I need a slower bag? Like even surefires are too fast because like, you know, you get those fall yeah. days, no humidity. It's like oh, I want a launches. friendly bag. And a lot of time carpet's the only thing that can get you that slow three, four speed without, you know, being swayed. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of like that middle ground, which I think is kind of why these are good. It's kind of like what what a normal player could use on a super, super fast board without being pushed Correct. to the point of a Viking or uh, yep. along those lines. Um, yep. You are losing some of your rollability. Granted, you know, you anyone are. who can roll a bag can roll anything. I mean, you can roll a series Viper if you want, but in you terms be of able to, yep. if you don't have a perfect roll shot, these aren't going to accidentally roll on you like a Viking would. Like no. I can roll a Viking when, when I try to do it, but like I don't have a very good roll. This still roll for me. Right. These, if I try to roll them, a lot of time they'll just cut or maybe they'll cut and lift up a little, but I don't get that jumping, bouncing. Exactly. Yep. Out of these forgiving bags. But huge, huge perk from the, I mean, like this is one of my top selling bags just because of the fact it's like people want a slow bag that doesn't jump all over the place and is still hole friendly, which is why I think where this niche uh, kind of fits in and where I think, uh, you know, it is a good, a good market. People have really liked, I know people, a lot of people like dolphins. A lot of people like, you know, that slower speed bag. Um, and yep. a lot of people are now liking the coastal boardwalkers that Devin Harbaugh has been throwing, which is another like friendly, you know, carpet with a fast, fast side, uh, just kind of giving that consistent feel. Uh, and then the last type of carpet, probably the hottest craze currently in the cornhole world, fast, oh, yeah. carpet, fast, thin, whole friendly carpet. So you're looking at, yep. you know, you're looking at your Viper R's, you're looking at your sorcerers you know you're looking at your winter tides or this is what i this is the example i had for the rook or the uh heffy or uh who else i can grab a rook or a heffy yeah, or a winter tide or, or yeah. an eight legged <laughs> yeah, right. or a coyote they, they all use the, these kind but i mean I there's would 10 say, more right so viper r probably the hottest bag in the market currently 
Uh, yep. One of the only, I th- it's the only bag that's ACL stamped that's using this material. I guarantee you it'll be the only bag that's ACL stamped using this in the future because from what I've heard, the general, like from someone who can purchase materials wholesale, this is no longer available for order. Um, saying that, don't think, don't think, hey, I'm going to hog up every Viper R because Ultra is going to come out and say, hey, we're out of stock now. I almost guarantee right. you they have some kind, they either have so much of it, they're good for years. Or they have a direct line with the manufacturer and they're just buying it themselves. Because like that green one they just came out with, that's not yeah. a purchasable color. You can't just buy that if you're a normal person. So I, same, with no, the, same, I didn't with, know that. same with the red color. You can't buy the red either. Blue you can. I knew that. You can't buy the red or the green. So mm-hmm. I guarantee they have some so kind of line to purchase. The Carolina blue, could you? Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know. I might have this in my garage. I haven't looked. Okay. I, I, think, I know the blue, I think blue you, you can, might be able to Carolina blue. I don't know. I think okay. you might be able to. I was just curious. Red, I know Purely for curious. sure red and green because I don't have either of those colors and I got all their samples. Right. I knew uh, the red for sure. But. Right. But um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if no other company is able to copy this because either they don't have the yeah. direct connection or they can't just get the volume that they need. Why is this so popular? It's fast. It's floppy. It doesn't play like carpet. That's it. It pretty much nails it. Um. It's, I've always told people, they're like, why are they so good? And I'm like, it's the carpet bag that non-carpet throwers can use. Like, cause if I go to a blind draw up until literally up until this bag came out, when I went to a blind draw, they're like, what do you throw? And I'm like, literally every set in my bag is carpet. And they go, Ugh. and they're just like, I don't want to do that. So we end up throwing their bags. No one wants to throw carpet because they think it's Vikings. They think it's mercenaries. They think, right. you know, it's, it's just going to hop all over the place. My bag's not flat. I can't control that. Okay. I mean, the kryptonite, the pink dolphin, stuff like that, that helped out because they were like, right. oh, that doesn't They're kick too hard. It's pretty good. You know, it's harder. better, but you know, it's still not exactly what I want, you know, but I could kind of convince people to throw those a little bit. Now they're like, what do you have? And I'm like, sorcerers, viper ours. They're like, cool, whichever one you like better. Right. Like they don't care. You it's know, it's so the friendly. Of it. Yeah. It's, it, it's just friendly. It's, collectible it's controllable and for me i like it better because you don't have to throw it as hard right i lose accuracy when i throw hard you know like most people oh, see, I lose accuracy if i'm forced off <laughs> uh, well yeah if i'm trying to lay an intentional block i right. will miss the board but like <laughs> i will just I will. miss the entire board yep <laughs> just the entire board gone i'll probably hit my partner's foot but I mean, it's just, it's that carpet you can control, but then you can still do carpet things because if you are a efficient roller, you're going to be able to do it with any sort of bag. Right. Um, I would say these are the hardest broken in and dirty. These are probably the hardest, so one of the hardest bags to roll. Like even my buddies that are really good at roll, that's their whole game plan. Dude, it's I know. very difficult to roll. I know. Um, but these things, I mean, I've done it a these, couple times. They just, they tend new. to shark fin. Yeah. So these are they almost do that. brand new. I've only thrown these yeah. for like, I don't know, a tournament maybe. And like right. they're uh, they're not they're not quite, but I mean they're flop. I mean this is like that's a carpet bag, right? It's not a carpet bag, but it's a carpet bag. These but, are used as hell, by the way. So maybe right. you should break in your bags like I do. No, I mean I can do that too. Oh, can you? I don't know. I'll just hold the different <laughs> spots of the bag. That's why this test doesn't work. I like my bags floppier though. Um, but the well, yeah, the uh, I mean I love I I really like Viper. I had it as my number one bag of the year. The reason I yeah they're good bags. The reason I had it as my number one bag of the year is just kind of like. I can almost like unconsciously throw them and they, the way I rank a bag is like not, Hey, I hit the middle every single time it went in. That's every bag. It's Hey, I missed and it went in or I missed it and do? it's still grabbable yeah. or yeah. I can still cut collect with it. It airmail drags really easily. The slow side, like I can block, but I could also just go hole for hole. It doesn't hang on the whole yeah. list at all. The push side no. is easy to collect. Like they're, you know, my partners can all throw. I throw with people that throw the bag like vertically and they can throw oh, them, yeah. right? And it's yep. the same thing. You know, I, I my sorcerers aren't as broken in as yours, so I haven't gotten an, as ton of time on these. But I would say, I mean, way thinner. Like, this isn't your BG bag. Like, way... They're definitely thinner. Know, way floppier, thinner, uh, easier easier to throw. All disc fill, so it's not going to kick I and love, jump. I love these bags. I know you love your, your custom sorcerers. You butter. Oh, they're so pretty. They are cool. No, I'm just saying sorcerers in general. I, right. I like sorcerers over Viper R's, but it's like, it's literally a 5149. Oh, really? See, I, I like, it's, it's I, like so I just like close. to feel that soft Viper. I like the more thin floppy, you know, because you got to have that liner on the sorcerer's low side. So it's not as big for me in the hand feel. 
I I can do a little more fun things with these than I can with Viper Rs. Yeah, true. That's literally the change. That's right. that's what puts it ahead. I would say I think sorcerers will move more than Viper Rs though, in terms of like throwing them with a newbie. I think Viper Rs are easier to throw if you're not flat than sorcerers. But I agree. 100%. Sorcerers are way easier to throw than any other BG bag. Are like dark slides, but I don't count that. Like normal BG. Bags, well, yeah. Right. Yes. But these bags are popular. I mean, they're thinner. They play like a fast bag. Like the Viper R's almost play just like a Viper. Like on board. They do. Like they just play like slower. almost the same speed. Very close. Like any humidity, Viper slow side kind of slows down with those dots. It's like it does. it's almost identical to a Viper player. Uh, you know, they're, uh, but like you said, you know, they're really tough to roll. I could still cut them harder to cut though. You got to really do something with them. Yeah, for sure. But they're super hole friendly. And I think the biggest perk to them is because carpet, which we're going to go into, why do we throw carpet? But it's consistent yeah. for every board for the whole day. Like it, like every board, every condition, you know, sticky, fast, it just doesn't matter. Hot, slow, sunny. It's like, it doesn't you get, matter. You get locked in, you're locked in on anything. And that's why I think carpet's kind of taking over, you know, and, and another bag we don't have in here, but I know you like this as well as the fallout X. That one is kind of like, yeah. the, like the, anyone who throws Buffalo, that's kind of like the secret dark horse. Their baby bag is the fallout X. Like I hear so it many seriously is. It's, fallout X. it's such a sleeper. Yeah. It's such a, it's another, it, they were kind of the the floppy sorcerer, but used Viper fast side before sorcerer existed. Like they've had the fast Correct. friendly carpet way before Viper R way before any of these, you know, Rook winter ties way before sorcerer. They were kind of the first one. Well, their, like, their problem was they had the, the fallout that was their original version. And that fast side was absolute trash. Sure. And they'll, they'll agree with me. I mean, I, I did review that one. Um, it's way back in my videos, but it was so thick. Like if you think that backing herringbone is thick, <laughs> okay seriously this stuff was so incredibly thick that you just couldn't get it broken in it was fast but it was so thick it was just hard to throw hmm. and it just it wasn't a great bag because of that so you know the, the, the fast i never broke the, down got the wrong just, wrap on it like it didn't get the, the fallout x was the, love it the revision of You're it right. um and people probably were just like yeah fallout x what's the difference right. who cares right and no it's a really really good bag well and i'd then, say very I mean, similarly og versus og2 from black sheep I think a lot of people oh, tried the OG. They're like, eh, carpet. They were not that good. It's very like very dense. And now they use the Neptune carpet, which is a lot better. Yep. Still takes a while to break yep. in. But you've tried sets that are like nuked and they play really nice. But a lot of people yeah, have just been like, oh, I didn't like the OGs. And they just don't buy the OG yeah. twos. But they don't they realize don't. Yep. it's completely different. And that's on the same token. I'm glad I tried these. With the, the new, new Hustler the X new with the alien film. film. Yeah. Yep. Because they removed that super thick backing. I think there's still some sort of backing in them because it was right. thick, but they're not they're not stupid bouncy. I mean, it's taken them forever to get like this, but like they're almost as friendly as a Hustler X. They're a little bigger template for the people that like that. Because Hustler X or um Fallout X. Yeah. Fallout X is really small if you haven't thrown them. Right. Um I've actually my some set people was like very big. Like, oh, like old deadheads. Like the original deadheads were very big. Oh no. Oh, Mine are my not set at all. Were, my my deadheads were like the floppiest surefire variant I've ever tried. Well, deadhead for sure. They're yeah. typically pretty big, but my my fallout X oh. are not. They're in my room, but they're not. They're not that big to me. Um, like I mean, they're small almost like, like. I'll grab them. <laughs> them. <laughs> I mean, mine were mine were Can fairly we large them? and really floppy, which is why I liked them. I uh, actually I I, think yeah. I traded mine away for something. Um, but I mean, I just have oh, they're. Bags. But they're th those I mean, are that's compared, another. That's another bag that I think is kind of like you know, of the people that throw black sheep. I've heard more people say they like Fallout X's. Yeah. Uh, what do I have to compare? Well, that's to? the gold that's one. Those not, are fairly uh, new. That's in like the last six months. Because yeah, mine, mine well, like it's, old, I mean, it's a twenty. Old. It is a twenty-three stamp. Yeah, mine were like really old. Uh, but I mean, I'm trying to line up that corner. Even though when I hold it up, it's gonna fall. But I don't know if you can see. I mean, it does, the yeah, Viper I mean, R. It's bigger, but it's sticking it's out. Tell. The Viper R's. The Viper R is massively bigger. I will say that. Sure. Um, but I, I mean, the Fallout X plays nice, but I think the Fallout X is a little more active if you like something like that, but right. it's partially because of its size. So, yeah, but I don't know. And I, I swear they use a different carpet than BG does, but maybe not. I'm, it might be. I don't know. I, I it don't just think seems so, a little shinier. It seems a little shiny. Could shining. be the backing too. Could be, could also be the back. side the side of the material that they use too if they flip it inside. I don't know that I have that material in my garage. I guess I haven't really looked at both sides of it, but yeah, you should probably make some bags with it because really I just ordered I just ordered some. Yeah, I'm gonna make some just for fun. 
Sweet. Um, maybe maybe I'll send yeah. you some for fun. fast carpet. That is kind of I think. I've been trying to, to find out, the sorcerer honestly. fast side, but I can't find it. I don't know what it is. Um, I've been trying for a while. I believe <laughs> nobody else is using. I believe it, it's so. been well. It's been found, but um, ah. Well, there's some people we'll that think later. they found it, and then <laughs> I and I got some of it. It's not the same, but and it wasn't not the same. But I mean, I, I don't. Okay. I'm not in the business of just copying bags, but I'm more interested in well, the materials themselves because I'm not a big I sorcerer fast prefer, side fan. I like yeah, prefer, I prefer viper fast over I sorcerer fast. I would. I like sorcerer fast is just a little quick. It likes <laughs> to jump the hole sometimes. I would love the sorcerer slow with viper fast uh, fallout X. Okay, sounds good. Oh, fallout X. <laughs> yeah, weird, yeah, weird, weird, cool. Uh, but I mean, yeah, the fast. The reason fast carpets a thing. It's hole friendly, stays consistent. You don't have to be that flat. You can still do fun things with it. Uh, yep. Really doesn't change much. The fast side still viper fast side. You know, you know and love it. Like I don't know. All in all, man, it's just. I didn't want to like them as much as I did. Uh, it's the only it, Viper R's are the only bag in my Zuka that aren't Sub Zero bags. That says something. But I also need a stamp bag, but like for once in a blue moon when I got to play an ACL event because we're not like you guys Viper. where you can't even like practice without throwing stamp bags. <laughs> well, yeah, Viper R's are one of eight bags in my in my Zuka that's not Sub Zero bags. <laughs> I have eight <laughs> bags in my Zuka. <laughs> I do. I carry eight All right, yeah, yeah. Don't don't give me too much of a shout out. Damn. Uh, <laughs> but let's talk about. Okay, Dude, you know how it is. It's my oh, league yeah, is the only yeah. non ACL I can do. I know. I know. I know. And, and I wasn't going to bring my sub zeros to league. Is like non stamp. <laughs> well, it's, I wasn't bringing my sub zeros to league because I was going to give a set of bags to the dude because he didn't have any bags. Did you record your so, uh, carpet review yet? Uh, all the throwings recorded. I haven't recorded the voiceover yet, and then I lost my voice, so I'm not recording. Oh, it you're for... doing it as like a voiceover of throwing. Yeah, I'm doing it as all the throwing, and then I'm going to talk about it as I'm, you know, I'm just going to voice over and talk about it that way because it was like I wasn't just going to be like, so this is the ruthless cocky. It's the exact same. It as has the, one the before same it. materials. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. It's cool. Yeah. I would say that this is. Like... The B3 Coyote. Yeah, I you know, know. It's, so I wanted to throw them a little bit just so you can see how they're like acting on the boards and stuff. I literally did it in my hallway. So whatever. But well, let's talk for a second. So we've talked about all the different kinds of carpet. Uh, and, and by the yeah. way, I, I think I don't want to say like we need a new term, but I, I, I do feel like the uh, stigma behind the word carpets kind of disappearing where people aren't just like you're oh. never going to get right the word. out. But I think if, just, so, if someone says carpet. like. Hey, I throw carpet. I feel like more people are like, all right, what kind? Like, like Vikings or like Viper Arts? Because those are two very different situations. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you walk up and say you're a carpet thrower, and I'm like, cool, what are you throwing? You're like Viper Arts. I'm like, all right, yeah, what else? Like, no, that's it. Like, you're not a carpet thrower. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fast bag thrower that really likes Viper Arts. <laughs> I mean, fair. Correct. Yes. Welcome yes. to my life. And that's, that's literally fine. me. And that's so. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't roll, but I'll throw Viper Arts. But right. why do we, why do we throw carpet? So all carpet is the best. Be, and it goes into that polypropylene material because it, you know, it burns just the type of makeup of, of that, you know, material polypropylene itself. It's very water resistant, so it doesn't get affected yes. by humidity. So if the bags are dirty and on a super fast board, they're playing like a four. If the bags get soaking wet in the rain, they're probably playing at like a four still four or five. I mean, they, they just stay very almost yeah. the exact same speed. All day. So, so like you could be playing on, you know, your West Georgia glue sticks on board one and go to like, yeah. you know, your Cooper Woodworks, which is local dust, lightning fast boards on court seven. And there's yeah. still, it's not like, oh my God, I got to change my entire throw. It's like, no, I was, it's the same bag, which is why I think they're very, yeah. very popular. Um, but, and I also would say they're getting really popular because there's more action you can do with the friction of the materials uh, on the slower ones. And they're being made famous by a lot of these playmaking people on ESPN. People want to be able to do that. That's what it is. Like you'll never, you're never going to be as good as these kids at it, but people really want to do it. You know, I wish I get it because people, and my last point is people find it a lot more fun to do those shots, man. I'll tell you what, I mean, airmail drags are great, 100%. but you hit that, you hit that on purpose roll. Dude, bag, you hit a roll. Feels so good. <sighs> Especially when especially you know it's like a, of the round. especially when you know it's like a five percent chance you actually do it, and then you do oh, it. Oh yeah! Like I did that in Crew Cup the other day. I like tried to throw a roll because I had no other shots, and it was like this wonky ass thing, and somehow just perfectly flipped up over the top. And I'm like, that's better than every airmail I've hit the last three days. <laughs> like, yeah, seriously, like, like, it just it feels so much better. Oh, it's and so then, cool. I mean, 
even when you miss typically i will say typically because yes you can launch it off the back you can launch it off the side of course you can but typically if you miss it puts you in no worse position than you were already in correct sometimes it makes it better because it's i've missed a roll where it was like a level two block and i was rolling around it i missed but it stayed right in front of his bag i'm like well now i blocked his push But but like, I would so say I would say nobody, I got in a better position by missing a shot. Nobody talks about the rolls that you miss though, where it's just like you know. I, I think I think it was correct. It was either Trey Rider or Anthony Allen that was talking about the fact that it's like yeah, it stayed on the board. But in pro cornell, if you stay on the board and you're left and you give your opponent a bumper, you get, still give up. Yeah, you're giving up points. Like great, you didn't launch sure. it off the back, but you're still not in the hole, or you're not. In but the we're not pros. Or, we're and right. we're not talking to pros. But so also we we're are. not pros, you, so our roll bag isn't in the middle every time we throw it. Correct. <laughs> so correct. So, so my air is also not in the hole every time i throw it no, so you're not me so that's fine well that's true that's why i win <laughs> yeah sure sure <laughs> we're both second place larry's over here uh that's true sorry to anybody with the name larry uh but, that is true <laughs> but one last thing i really want to talk about with carpet bags is um something that i don't think people realize is phil and and you know i'm a bag junkie about everything Fill matters yeah. more than material on carpet bags. So 100%. much. A hundred percent. Like if, if I cut open a Viking and filled it with surefire fill, it would play like a dolphin. And if I cut open a, a surefire or a, cut open a surefire and filled it with a Viking fill, it'd be a bouncy surefire and it would roll. Oh yeah, it would. But like, it's not just about the material. The, the reason the material is used for roll shots is the friction is higher than a fast bag. So there's going to be more contact with the board, more skidding and more action for the bag to move. But you have to, yep. the, the beads that are inside it have to have that throwing action inside the bag itself to get the bag to jump. So uh, when people say, you know, like, oh, like um, when a company comes out, like, oh, I, a four, seven carpet bag, like. I wish on the website, and I saw a thread on this on Addicted to Cornell the other day. I, I saw wish, that today too. I wish they would say, oh, not my what new alien resin. Just like mix of disc and bead, straight bead, straight fill, like f- f- puffy ass pillow bitch. Yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah. like, give me because like the amount of times that I've ordered sets of carpet bags, I'm like, oh, this company comes out. It's probably going to be cool. Like if I got the Shamrocks, right? I would assume yeah. it would be disc fill. All their bags are disc fill. And I get it, it'd be round. I'd be like, eh, I kind of wish I would have known it was round before i got them sure you know sure so because it makes such a big difference like oh so sh- kill shot styles do this by the way yeah but i i'm pretty sure they're not a lot yeah i get that but i'm pretty sure each of their bag lines has a set fill name because they can't change the fill correct you can't change the fill within the bag but you have bullseye with this i think you have bullseye with javelin um, right, right. they have different fills he's got his new ak-47 coming can, out let, let's say the cannons have phantom fill or whatever ja- or marksman fill i right? think the cannons are crossfire. Right? crossfire it might sure. be marksman though but it might be marksman technically speaking you can't be like hey can i have cannons with marksman fill like no you cannot they, they're set by line so yes you cannot I agree. yes kill shots is one of the companies that is more pronouncedly being like hey we're doing different fills we think these are the best for our bags but you well, yeah and that but that's what i'm saying if right. you if you know you don't like bullseye because i'm not a huge fan just sure. of how it holds in my well, hand you know it plays really nicely bullseye, then you don't you're not gonna that's up. my point right. so like Good. i mean I sicarios that. they have bullseye but the javelins also have bullseye but javelin is kind of like viper art ish you know it's kind of that right. variant but if you don't like the fill you don't like the fill i don't love the fill and i you know i mean i'll throw them for a review that's fine but i probably wouldn't order them for myself but right. then and some people coming really out like with a new one coming out the new one with i want to say it's going to have crossfire in it and i'm going to be all over it because it's going to be awesome and i know what the fill is mm-hmm. so it just i mean they are doing their thing i mean i just i give them a little bit of credit kill oh, yeah. doing good stuff more inf- I, I think i think we're getting to the age of cornell or at least bags where i mean like I, at least for you know me i know way too much but i think there's becoming a lot of people that know a lot about a lot when it comes to bags or they've yeah. bought so many bags they've tried them where i think more information is better for companies now where it's like I agree. the more information you give out, the higher chance of a sale in terms of people like I know exactly what I'm looking for and that will fit my play style or at least a higher chance that what they get in the mail is what they're going to love and what they're going to want to throw because they knew ahead of time what they were getting themselves into. Well, but then they're all worried about like people getting their secrets and whatever else. And it's like, come on, like. I mean, there's a certain YouTube channel that uses. cuts bags open and shows the fill. So I don't think I love it. I, love <laughs> I don't, that I don't think there's I think you, I'd rather be ahead of the game. I mean, I can tell everybody right now my carpet is a mix of disc and some lightweight to puff it up. And my other bags are right. disc. 
<laughs> that's the thing. I, I really you can ask me that. I don't care. I'll tell you. <laughs> among bag makers, like everyone's kind of doing the same thing. They're just doing their own version of it. Right. So I'm not going to tell you the ratio that I mix my disc and my bead, but Correct. I'll tell you that it's a mix of lightweight and disc. And but if you really it, wanted to know, you could order a set of your bags and cut them open and figure yeah, it out. Yeah, but you're not going to figure out the ratio. Because <laughs> because I'll tell you what, let's say let's say you, you change it by all the beads, half, you a, half an ounce, man. It's like you get a pillow oh, and a flat one, man. It changes. I know. It changes quick. Um, I know. I get it. But but I think Phil, like I said, Phil makes up traditionally the thought of carpet more than Phil's that gigantic. Uh, like, I mean, Phil's a difference between a puffy pillow and a very thin series Viper feeling bag. You know, like Viper well, R with Viking fill in it would be a puffball would be a oh, friendly it'd be ridiculous. Puffball. No one. I mean, nobody would like it. And how many. So I, and that's what I hope you go into with your Viper R review is like because I know the A walls had a bigger fill. I think you got a set with this too, but like they, there was some. I have both, puff, yeah. And and all the different bags. I think I was talking to you on the phone uh, offline, and you were like, you know, some of them are really thin, some are a little bit puffy, some are a little, you know, yep. some are a little too beady, some maybe don't yep. grab the holes well, good. I'm, right? I am talking about fill and stuff when right. I do the voiceover. Like this because is how they feel, the this is how they play. Right, they're all the same materials, so it's like you gotta have Mostly, some different yeah. factors. So. I think there's like four with actual R carpet and the rest are the variant. So, right. And that's why I, so like whenever you guys watch me or Corbin's review, you know, obviously as Phil feel flop is three F's, but I talk about Phil as well. I think that's a point that you need to listen to more than maybe you think you do. Because if I say, you know, this is a pretty round beady fill and you've picked up a set of game changers and you're like, I would never throw this. This is a sack of BBs. Well, if I say yeah, this bag has a round throw BD fill, don't throw it like it's going to feel like a sack of BBs like game changers do. If you're like, no. I don't like the fact that flat disc is just like, like I don't have any difference in the beads. I can't feel the difference right. or, or you don't give a crap, you know, round disc is or round bead is more hole friendly. So it's like, you know, you, sure. this fill is going to make a big time. I mean, and everyone listening, I'm sure you've picked up a set of bags that some person's in love with and you pick it up. You're like, I could not throw it. like the, the fall yeah, out of my ow. hand. I hate this. Right. And that's all Phil. Um, which, which yeah, I got, I got ripped open on that though. I got, well, not really ripped open, but I got a little angry comment about that just about fills and stuff. Cause you're saying, you know, pay attention to when we talk about fills and all that. I literally had to clarify in a video that I'm feeling it with my hands. I'm not opening oh, the bag right, and right. looking at it. You don't know it. for sure. Cause they were like, right. Oh, this, this one's this. And that's hundred. And, and I bought it. And that was because you said it was this and I hate it now. And I'm like, <laughs> I guys, I'm literally feeling beads through carpet. Right. That's how I check fill. I right. pinch it and I feel it and I kind of take a guess. Right. A lot of the time, I mean, there, there's some bags because there's... So I'm pretty com close. Yeah, but combats use like a cylindrical fill and then there's one that's super, super beady and then there's asymmetrical bead and then there's flat disc, right. but that's pretty close to asymmetrical bead and then there's like filler right. bead. So it's like, it's like when I'm feeling it through, I'm like, I think this one's rounder. Like there's obviously right, that's why I'm, the really BB ones you can feel obviously because they literally roll in your fingers. But like if it has any kind of like rough pattern to it, there's some I mean, granted, yeah. from me purchasing fill, there's some flat fill that I get that's just a sometimes a little bit rounder than others. You know, just get some weird anomaly fills in there. It's like it, yeah. I, I think people don't realize, too, like resin, especially and fill. There's no science to this. We're the only industry oh. that gives a crap what the shape of it is. Every other industry, they sell plastic pellets to or like boat insulation. Yeah, they're just, they're just melting they're, they're it. They're just so. pumping, pumping it into places yeah. and melting it into products. Yeah. So like when they're making – these companies are making like 100,000-pound batches. It's like – it's close within a they degree or a percentage. But like it's not yeah. – that's why we saw that whole weight debacle with the Surefires a little while back where they were all like underfilled. Because right. it was like, well, they got the same fill from the same person and the company they got it from just made a bad batch. And it's just like, sorry. Yep. Here's the crap you got, <laughs> you know. So, it's, but I mean, they they could have. Well, I guess they were weighed properly. They were just too too thin. Correct. But, yeah. Yeah. No. I, yeah. So so there's a lot that goes into that. But I would say the carpet For is sure. very popular. It's not going anywhere. I think it's going to become more popular as more companies figure out that uh, don't make another Viking because all the people that want to throw Vikings just throw Vikings. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult. I think to we're. Make. I think we're just going through cycles. Like right. I, I've noticed this. You know, I've only been playing two and a half years. And I've noticed this from just when I started, like when I first started, I wanted quicker, friendly, whatever bags. And then I was like, oh, I can do something a little slower, but I hate carpet. And that's, you watch my earlier videos and I review carpet. And I'm like, I don't know why anyone throws this crap, this garbage. <laughs> I hated it. Yeah. I couldn't stand it. Right. And then I went to quicker bags again and I'm like, I'm just not doing what I want with these. And then I found some carpets that I liked. I started throwing them, started getting better with them. I'm like, oh, carpet's life. Like <laughs> carpet's, life. carpet's just carpet is so life. That's, I, I put it on Facebook all the time. He's like, going pro sniper fast side only. 
He's going back. <laughs> right. Bring him back kind of, to the dark side, baby. You bring me back. Well, it's I just got some new Viper C's. They're in the dryer right now. So I don't even know why. But I mean that why I got them? Yeah. <laughs> they were so cheap. I couldn't I know, say no. But you're like, you're like, yeah, carpet's life. Got new Viper C's that I bought not for review. Well, <laughs> so here here is the thing though. I mean, yes, I love my carpet. And seven out of the eight sets that I bring to tournaments are carpet. My eighth set is always a non-carpet bag. Um, just in case there's those boards that are so freaking sticky that carpet just doesn't work. Right. Because it does happen. Um, you know, carpet's not as affected by humidity as other materials, but if a board is just stupid slow, oh, yeah. it's going to be stupid slow for carpet too. I've had boards so, where my Celtics are slow, so. And that's my point. So <laughs> yeah, that's where like, that's where I'll bring Costello or Viper C or, you know, if I know it's going to be dirty, 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 slow, I'll bring a set of psychos. Right. Like, you know, it's just, I, I always have an, an eighth set that I'm probably never going to use, but I have it. I and still think sit in my bag. You know how it is. Like bottom left corner, they're a bit in there just in listen, case <laughs> you make your own bag. So it's totally different, but like, you know, we get bags sent to us for review and all that. Like once in a while, I just want to buy a set. Okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I have these and I bought the sorcerer drop just cause I know I did too. Yeah, I bought like, the sorcerer drop. Then I bought the Viper R drop. But I just showed you. Then, I literally have ba- I have like ten sets in the plastic just on the floor. Just I yeah, because it's fun to buy. See, but I break all my stuff in, and I I will throw. Oh, throw I break Viper them all in. I just have two of everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's fair. my second set. That's fair. But no, I just want to try them out. You know, see see what I can do with them because my Costellos. I know they're totally different than yours, but mine play actually very very fast. Yours are dirt slow, so. Well, I was my almost hoping that, like, yeah, my other ones are really correct. Fast. My other ones are fast. Yeah, your, so I was kind of hoping like Viper C might be a really medium, fast. right? Yeah, yeah the, that's what I'm saying. I those ones are fast as fast as hell. Well, the white just there's no ink in it. Oh, that's just what launch. we didn't talk about. I'm glad I said we that. we didn't talk about that. One last thing we're going to talk about, and I'm sure nobody's here listening anymore because we just blabbled for ten minutes about absolutely nothing. Uh, for but sure. If you're for still sure. here, this is actually really important, and I don't know why I forgot to write this down. See, that's why I read Nightline. I'd, I'd never remember. I know. Ink. I even brought up the point, and you were like, oh, that's a great yeah, point, and I you didn't write it down. down. So Ink how much do you carpet. care about my thoughts? Ink in carpet makes a gigantic deal. Red carpet is piss slow. It's so slow. It breaks down so much different than white carpet. Blue carpet, second slowest. Black carpet, actually somehow not as slow as blue carpet. Doesn't make sense, but still slow. White carpet, yep. the best carpet that exists, in my opinion. It's yep. way faster. Whiter, it, it slows whiter, down, light gray. but it's way more hole friendly. Light gray. I mean, that's why. Like even this, yep. this dark gray, this still plays okay. I bought the yeah. I bought the white I mean, sorcerers because I wanted the. Those white are very carpet. similar. This light speed wise, these are very good. similar. The lighter the color is, the less ink that has to be in the carpet, and the faster it's going yes. to play. And the and the 100%. faster means that as it breaks down, it's going to be more hole friendly. That's why all my personal sets of avalanches. White carpet. White carpet. Uh, my winter tides are the silver carpet. It's the whitest I could get. I mean, the you know when I make when I make fast bags, even I my logo is predominantly white and white light and colors, white colors. But so carpet. Yep. So if you've ever gotten a set, if you tried someone Vikings that are like that really dark gray that are just glue or True. red and that's just glue, and then you grab like a white honeycomb set or like a white comic set, like one of the new ones, and they're just like fast as hell. That's why it's the ink in the carpet. And it's not like they're pressing it in there. That's what you're getting from the manufacturer. So the ink is literally just dyed into the fabric in the manufacturing house. Crazy difference in speeds. Like my red avalanches are legitimate Velcro. They're like super glue. And then my white ones are like fast. And it's so crazy how different it is. So just know that if you try a set that's like red or blue or black and they're too slow for you, try white. I bet you it's way different. Yeah white or light gray and you might like them it might completely right. change the bag for you so if you're looking for like hey i'm not super flat i want to play a control game but i want it to be pretty hole friendly and i want to throw fast you just get white if you want to try carpet yeah white carpet opinion. white yeah. or gray you know viper r is a little bit different but i would say my red viper r is much slower than my light blue viper r's um as the light down. blue are the fastest for sure yeah yeah of all the color the the gold actually is surprisingly not that slow it's not super fast. Now the gold, the, ours, the gold, yeah. I mean, the gold's right in the middle. I mean, right. I think the the, dark the red blue, and the blue play pretty much the same to me. See, I had them both destroyed, and the red were way yeah. slower. Okay, like way slower. I don't know. Well, why. Well, maybe that's so why Julie slow. liked my dark blue ones. 
so yeah, I guess red slow is dark blue, then dark blue, is then just, light blue, just then above lighter, that, and then light blue, blue and yeah. light blue and gold. I'm curious on the green. I mean, it should be just like the light blue. I think it's almost the exact same because uh, blue is just be. a shade of bl- or green's just blue and yellow, which are both light colors. Right. So like, I would just I would <coughs> just expect like if they ever came out with like a bl- purple carpet, which I don't think they ever will because that wouldn't sell in any awesome. other industry that isn't Cornell. But be so cool, that would bro. probably be pretty slow because it's a mix of red and blue. So it's like, yeah. just, just know that ink makes a big deal. I'm glad that I remembered that. Otherwise I would have in 10 minutes from now been yeah. mad that I forgot to mention it, but I'm makes, glad you remembered it at the very end of the podcast. Deal. Yeah. It makes a big deal. Even though about like one twenty ninth of the population is watching this. Um, or yeah. Of the, I mean, some people stay, stuck around the song, but either way, um, carpet, I think it's here to stay. I really enjoy throwing carpet. I like the control hole yep. from the Nissan. Oh, you really like throwing carpet. If you've, if you've Love tried it. Vikings and you hate carpet, try non-viking carpet try source, try herring try bone, sorcerers yeah. try viper r's try, try wizards try something try yeah. you know like avalanches something with a faster carpet uh try and you can even try i brought it up to you earlier but like these mohawks oh the super the felt carpet yeah they're super it looks like a stuffed soft animal. it feels like a stuffed animal yeah it literally I, does like i feel like in, super I, soft. i'd be curious on that though if i think in humidity they're gonna slow down I, I feel like that's not actually polypropylene like fully polypropylene because so oh and that's another yeah, uh, thing that i'll get into real quick actually is uh viper r is not it's 50 percent polypropylene 50 percent polyester which is why Correct. it's so fast because polyester if you if anybody doesn't know is what surefire fast side viper fast side is it's 100 percent polyester material um yeah so it's very moisture resistant which is why it's so fast so the yep. viper r carpet is a mix of already water resistant carpet with a water resistant fabric that's faster than carpet so that's why yeah. it's such a fast carpet to itself um but you know so but you still can't print on it because it would melt so i'd be curious that Correct. i feel like if you had a white version of that i think you might be able to print on it depending on the percentage of poly in it because it looks so soft it almost looks like surefire level soft when it's brand new like the really, it's really softer soft. than surefire yeah well, you should feel the backside of Surefire. It's like a pillow. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, there's so many different, I, I mean, it's cool that they've tried. There's a ton of different else, carpets. You know, that, I mean, look at the Rugaroos. What are those? The skaters. Yeah. Rugaroos. So look at this carpet. I mean, have you seen these? I mean, this is like, looks like dragon yep, scales. Different. Yep. You know, it's thick, but I know Justin Duke loved throwing these things. Throw them really, really well. Yep. So, I mean, carpets here to say there's tons of different options, mm-hmm. but again, hey, white carpet carpet shocker right all righty well i think that's enough on uh on carpet i think people get the point carpet slides, yeah they might. plays good a lot of different options it's not a one Carp's size fit all so make sure that you uh you ask some questions no, before you pick up a set of yep. quote-unquote carpet bags because there's a bunch of different options 100 um, percent. but appreciate you guys stopping by for another podcast if you like this stuff please like comment subscribe hope you guys have a great rest of your day and rest of your week and uh we'll catch you guys in the next one thanks guys